Wow. Oh my god, I did not know this game had such intense graphics. It actually looks gorgeous. Hello. You don't mind me living here, do you? Great, we'll be good friends, I just know it. I assume you need to punch a tree to get wood, so I'm going to do it Minecraft style. Okay, now I have a bunch of wood. Oh, I can level up. Guess I'll take more oxygen so I can breathe more, because breathing is key to your body's power. Well, oh, I'm starting to get hungry. Now, where was that guy again? Oh, there you are. Mmm, delicious. Okay, so when you level up, you can apparently learn stuff. Ooh, a slingshot. And I can afford it. Hey, dude, I'm gonna test this out on you if it's okay. Oh, come on, man. Oh, shit. Ow. Hey, he stole my fucking berries. Dude, give them back. Oh my god, this dude is nerve wracking. Oh, I have no ammo left. Well, great, I crafted these. Try! Oh my god, you're annoying. Okay, only one left. Cannot miss this. Ah! Got him. Can I have my berries back, please? Now I just gotta find a good place to build my first base. Kinda want a safe place, cause... What the fuck is that? I kinda want a safe place, cause I don't want to encounter dangerous stuff like those. Ah! What now? Oh, I'm thirsty. I assume these are necessary for you to be able to build. I can't move. Damn, I'm still really proud of my character. The character customization in Ark is fabulous. Okay, I'm really heavy now, but I think I got the most of the stuff I need. I mean, it's something. What the fuck are you? Do not approach my house like that. Okay, he's he's like one of the bosses or something. Where did he go? Oh, now nah, you ain't running from me. Wait, can I tame you? I know you can tame stuff in this game, so I can probably tame this guy. Yeah, <laughs> boy. But how? I need to feed you something. Oh, <gasps> I knocked it out. It's unconscious. Wait, he's underwater, is he? Oh, no. But what do I do with you? You can tame certain animals simply by feeding them from your hotbar. Okay, so I need to feed this guy from my hotbar. And I assume my hotbar is down here. So what do you eat? Do you eat meat or berries? Come on, dude, eat. Oh, no. That just means I eat it. Oh, shit. Oh, so you put stuff in his inventory to tame them. Now I understand. So you're my friend now. Uh, go attack that guy. Good job. Attack him. You got this. It's the same creature as you. Oh, shit. Well done. Oh, shit. Was that bad? Oh, my God. They were poisonous. To Jurassic Park. After waking up, me and my Baba Boy went on a little adventure to explore the vast lands of Ark. Come, Baba Boy, we're going to travel for a bit until this happened. <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck is that? Baba Boo, help me! A raptor? There's raptors? Come on, Baba Boo. Let's just leave them to it. Okay, at least now I know I'm not going over there. I should probably craft some better gear before I head away from the beach. Like a better weapon or something. Hello. Dude, attack them! Burn. No! Baba Boo! Baba boy, we will miss you. You were brave. What the f is Raptor Claws doing here? We will miss you. You were brave till the end. But the fellow Dilophosaurus decided to end your life. May you rest in peace. Okay, so I need to make a better weapon. Both for my revenge and for me to be able to defend myself. A crossbow or a bow would be very useful. Speak of the devil. I can craft a bow and I will also need a crap ton of arrows. Hmm, yeah, that should be enough. Now with this bow, I could theoretically take out as many dinos as I want to. Damn, I'm powerful. Hey you, come back here. What the f*** is this? Is this like a elevator to heaven? I may be greedy now, but I think I can take that one on. Oh shit, 
Oh shit! Oh shit, oh shit, I messed up. I apologize. I apologize. Okay, I should probably stop messing around. I now know that it's possible to tame dinosaurs. So let's try to tame something for real. You look promising. Damn, he's fast. Come on, slow down. I just want to talk. Oh, shit. Hello, how are you? I am under the water. Get out of here. I'm trying to get a friend right now. Ooh. Come on, dude, just stop. Let's just communicate a bit. You've misunderstood my intentions. Oh, my God, I lost him. Dude, where am I? I'm lost. Well, if I can't have the Parasaur, at least you'll be my friend, right? Yes! Yes, that worked! So I assume you eat something, but what? Oh! What the fuck? Is this supposed to be like this? Why is this dinosaur twerking? Can I go like third person or something? Oh, like that. Oh, I'm holding it. Well, I can't do anything with you, so... Can you get off me? Oh, I can throw you off. Well, this is something, I guess. There's a lot of you guys over here. Oh, shit. What was that sound? Oh, my God. What is that? Hey, are you the guy I wanted to tame? No, 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 no. You fucking are. Come over here. Now, you ain't getting away from me this time. Oh, no. Sorry, dude. I accidentally hit you. Oh no! Oh well. Why am I in a jungle right now? Whoa, what is this? Can I like destroy it or something? Okay, so I crafted these like bowlers. And apparently you can throw them at dinos to like make them incapable of moving. And this guy right here seemed rather interesting. Oh, it worked! Come on, dude. How long does this thing last? Come on, dude, just go out! <laughs> Oh shit, are you running? Can I use another one? I am really hurt right now. Yes, you stand still and go unconscious. Yes! I actually did it. Oh my god. Oh shit, is that thing aggressive? Okay, what do you eat? I think that thing is aggressive. Is it eating on my thing? Oh shit, it tamed. Oh no, are they attacking each other? Okay, it is time. Attack him. Kill him. You're strong. This is a big one, but you can do this. I mean, this is surely a, a strong dinosaur, right? Pew, pew, pew. Are we even hurting it? One eternity later. Yeah, this guy won't die. Just keep shooting. Okay, I'm out of ammo. Dude, you got this. Take him out. Meanwhile... Oh, it's running? Nah, you ain't running from us. No, bro, don't don't go swimming. He's very bloody, it seems. How much health does this guy have, dude? Bruh. Oh, yes, we did it! A Diplodocus level 168. That's a high level. Oh, prime meat? I think that's a sign of it being a really strong dinosaur. Come, my friend. I'm gonna show you my pretty house. Oh, my God. This is Baba Boy's stuff. But anyways, look at my crib. It's not the best, but I'll puff it up for you. Oh, I should probably give you a name. Yeah, that should be your name. I even went ahead and got us a second floor. Now, this is epic. Oh yeah, and now I can actually start to learn metal stuff. Holy shit, that is expensive. Okay, I'm not doing that in a while. Hello everybody and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. In the previous video, we accomplished a lot. And I mean, a lot. I highly recommend you go watch that video before this one for context. Link is in the description. In the last video, we explored, tamed a dinosaur, which we named, and built a solid two-story house. Wow. We therefore got a glimpse of what this game is all about. But for today, I have other plans. What we did before was child play. What? 
Wait, why can't I access its inventory? Now, it's time to begin progressing towards the end game. Is this serious? Last video, I figured out that you can make metal tools. And with the help of some of you, I managed to successfully craft a metal Jesus hatchet Christ. and pickaxe. Just look at this beauty. Oh yeah, and I also built a new house because my old one was completely obliterated. It's not as big and cool, oh, come on, man. but it will do for the moment. You remember that dinosaur that I was chasing trying to knock out? Well, I wasn't going to let it get the best of me, so I decided to hunt it down and finally tame that bastard. What the f*** is that? Predator? That sounds terrifying, dude. <laughs> finally, dude. Oh shit. It's one of you again. And now, with the power of the bowler, I had a much higher chance to knock it out than before. The only problem, I had no idea where it disappeared. What the fuck, dog? This is the wrong game, brother. You can't be here. Oh sh! Yeah, not so cool now. Oh shit, that's a high level. What the fuck? Whoa, what the f Explorer notes? Whoa. Wait, does this game have like in depth lore or something? Look at this spinning thing. Helicopter, helicopter! There you are. Surprise, motherfucker. Huh? Remember me, b No, 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 no. Yeah. I've improved since last time we met. Now I have these goblin arrows. Oh no! Which you oh. won't like. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, baby! Holy shit! I didn't think it would work this well. Now, I heard you eat berries. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That was much easier than I thought. Oh, you can apparently ride these creatures, but I think you need a saddle for that. Let's see. Oh, I can afford one. Holy shit, I'm excited for this. Okay, so I just put it in your inventory, I guess. No? Did I just hear a monkey? Oh, it's a monkey. I need to tame it. Okay, quickly. Yes. Wait, why can't I access its inventory? Okay, so I quickly looked it up. You don't actually have to knock them out to tame them. Apparently, all you need to do is put something in the far right of your hotbar. So now I just gotta wait for this guy to wake up. One eternity later. <gasps> yeah, I need to be very sneaky about this. Ooh, almost tamed. Welcome to the tribe. Oh, I can pick him up. Where did he go? Am I holding him? No. Oh my god. This is the best game ever. Okay, so apparently all you needed to do was to put the saddle in the saddle placement. Oh my god, you look cool. Oh yeah, one thing I should point out. Night in this game is so dark. You can barely see anything. I also heard that this creature could harvest berries off of bushes. Oh, it can sprint. Look at him go. Oh my. This thing is amazing at collecting berries. Oh yeah, and I wanted to test something. Can you sleep in this game? I mean, there's a bed, so I suppose you can sleep. Lay on bed? Well, this isn't what I had in mind. Can I somehow pass the night quicker? I guess we'll just wait. This game is honestly much more pleasing at day. Dude, it's so satisfying just going around collecting berries. Oh shit, why am I so slow? Oh my god. Oh, and someone told me to pump movement speed. And I guess what he meant was to add more levels to movement speed. So let's try it. Do you have any idea how fast I am? Fuck, boy. Now, I'm the definition of speed. Now, nah, I really wasn't that much faster. You know what might be a good idea? Since I'm so powerful right now with my tames and gear, I wanted to check out a place I came by while searching for the Parasaur. And it kind of looked like a swamp of some kind. And if this is like any other survival game, there has to be some kind of super rare resource there. And I think E will be the best candidate since he's the only one with fighting experience out of my gang. Oh yeah, you haven't gotten any saddle yet. Here you go. Now, in the worst case scenario, 
you're ready for battle, my friend. I think the swamp is over in this direction. Yo, what the fuck is that blue thing? Here's the place. It kind of looked intriguing from over far. What the fuck is that thing? Oh shit, a snake. What the fuck? That's a pretty color. Okay, I need to get some water before I head in deeper. What the fuck? Help me, dude. Holy shit. Oh shit, that thing is coming straight for me. Damn you. Holy shit, there's a lot of snakes here. Holy shit, this guy is strong. I bet I can take that snake on. Oh my god, this guy is strong. Holy shit, this guy also gives raw prime meat. That is a lot. Yo, what the fuck? Damn, there's a lot of different dinosaurs over here. There's snakes, frogs, crocodiles, and that thing. I'm starting to think this isn't such a pleasant place, but... Oh! There has to be something of value around here. Why else would there be so many freaking dinosaurs over here? Oh, and I wanted to ask you guys something. Are there any actual bosses in the game or not? And if so, how can you fight them? I decided to not give up and venture deeper inside of the swamp, but there wasn't anything there. There's absolutely nothing here. And then this happened. What the f***? Oh no, not again. Oh my god. Oh. Are you kidding me? This isn't fair at all. After dying a second time on Ark, I felt defeated. Before heading towards the swamp, I actually felt pretty powerful, but I was wrong. After safely retrieving E, I got an idea. But I wasn't sure it was going to work. I simply needed to get more powerful. Therefore, I need to get better tapes. And I'll start with you. No, 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 no. Nice car. Let's go. Oh, you can pet these things. Now I will also need more firepower. What can I make? Oh, a crossbow. And damn, it's kind of expensive though. See that dinosaur over there? Well, that is the same dinosaur that destroyed my old base. And I actually missed that base. My new base is kind of trash compared to the old one. And I'm going to get my revenge on it by taming it. Oh, hell no! I know it may seem like an impossible task for someone like me, but everything is possible as long as you stay dedicated. And no, I'm not going to use a tutorial. So I started to work on something every beach bob would normally do in this situation. Yes, I do read comments and I now know what a beach bob is. Oh, you get overburdened really quick. I started this process by figuring out a way to trap the beast. Else, it would probably run wild once I tried to tame it. And we don't want that. But this time, I chose to think outside of the box. Literally. As dumb as this may sound, I came up with this method myself. Instead of trapping the dinosaur, I'm going to trap myself. This plan is almost fail proof. Oh, and I'm gonna use stone buildings, cause I wanna be sure it can't get into me once I'm trapped. Well, this isn't going to look the prettiest. It was finally finished, and now it's time. Hey dude, you're ugly. Oh shit, oh shit, shit, shit. I should have built the trap closer to it. Lucky I decided to level movement speed. Yeah, what you gonna do about it? You can't touch me in here. Oh shit, at least I don't think you can. He can? You're too close for my comfort, my guy. What if I crouch? Oh nah, don't stop punching it. Wait, can he destroy these structures? Just pump him with the arrows. Dude, this is really scary. Dude, is this guy like immune or something? Like, seriously. Oh, are you running? Get back here. Oh no, that's towards my house, dude. Holy shit, that's scary. What the fuck? Yo, is he in my trap right now? Oh, he's out. Oh my god. Uh, okay, uh, what do you eat? I mean, I have a lot of meat at home. I don't really know exactly what you prefer. For safety precaution, let's just dump in everything. Oh, okay, he ate something. I guess now I just gotta wait and manage this guy. Two hours later. Holy, that took a while. Oh my god. You look stunning and kind of menacing. Let's get you out of there. 
Come to Papa. I love oh my god, it was scary. What the fuck? You're so big that you take down trees. This has to be like the biggest dinosaur in the game. Like what else could be bigger than that? Oh yeah, and what even is this kind of dinosaur? Spino. That sounds epic. So let's give you an epic name. You're very big, so... Humongous. Yeah, that sounds fitting. Okay, now for our big boy. We need to craft you a saddle. In that way, I could potentially ride on you. Spino saddle. What level is that? Oh. <laughs> Fuck. Hello everybody and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. Yo, yo, yo! Ah! Y'all really seem to like the last two Ark videos I posted. So I may consider making this a longer series. Yeah! But be sure to watch those before this one. We did a bunch of stuff in the last video. Most importantly, we failed successfully to tame a huge dinosaur that we named Humongous. We also managed to upgrade our arsenal of equipment to the point of going to a swamp. Which ended up not going so good. Mm. But let's not rant too much about the last video and instead look at this thing. Toyota. This thing was really easy to tame, or at least on the second attempt. <laughs> oh yes, you have such pretty colors, dude. Oh wait. I have no clue what this thing does though. Oh, and I also upgraded my house a little. I may need some advice on how to build in this game, because you can clearly see that this, this is not it. I mean, the interior is kind of decent at least. Oh yeah, and I apparently have a really annoying neighbor. I also managed to craft this thing, and it was not cheap. I had to do all sorts of stuff to get the materials needed, though I think it's pretty powerful. But I'ma save it for later in case I will need it. One thing that's bothering me, we just tamed this big dinosaur, but I can't really use it because the saddle is on level f 71. No, no. I have no idea on how to level up fast, so I'm going to go exploring in hopes to find something that isn't just sand and water, because I'm officially leaving the beach bob territory. Therefore, I'm going to see what this so-called The Island got in store for us. Yo, what the fuck Is that Optimus Prime? What is that? Holy shit. That's some big ass trees. Oh yeah, and a lot of you guys told me you can make things brighter by typing something in the console. Something like Gamma. Let's try Gamma 10. Holy shit! I think this is a little too bright. Holy shit, this is dark. Yo, that looks fancy, dude. What is this? Oh, it's metal. Oh my god, it gives a lot. I just hit the jackpot, dude. Though it gives a lot of stone. Oh shit, that looks cool over there. Wait, what? Is this everything? Come on, dude. I mean, I did get some metal, but is there like seriously nothing over here? Dude, I went all this f***ing way to just- Bruh, shit. But then, after a little bit more exploring, I found this. Whoa, is this a cave? Oh, there's stuff in there. Hello, motherfucker. Well, let's explore it. This is certainly a cave, alright. I have 12 arrows and a half-broken crossbow. I really hope that's enough. I do got some spears, though. Oh, this is some cool mushrooms, dude. How deep does this go? Can I harvest these? Oh my god! That's gotta be rare, right? I'll put this onto my hotbar just in case. Dude, this cave is deep as f Oh my god! What the fuck is that, dude? No, 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 I ain't doing this. It did literally nothing. Oh shit, I'm sick. Oh my god, that actually scared the crap out of me. Like, what even was that? Oh shit, that sickness. Mega rabies? What the fuck? A scorpion? Holy shit, there's a lot of stuff here. Wait, I regret going in here. <laughs> yeah, that was not a good idea. At least now I know these caves are dangerous. But like, is there even a point of exploring caves? Oh shit. I just realized something. I have no easy way of coming back to that cave. And I left my guy over there. Sprinting on foot is a definite no. The parasaur is too risky. And my humongous doesn't even have a saddle. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I can craft new equipment, but we'll have to tame something new. This is exactly what I've been waiting for. You look cool. 
Oh wait, you have wings. <gasps> Below! What the? Don't tell me you can fly in this game. That would honestly be so cool if you could. Don't disappoint me, game. Eat some of these arrows for me. Okay, he went out quick. Come here, you parasaur. I need to test what this guy eats. And you're going to be my test That's subject. Good. Here we go. I'll plop him like everything. Oh, uh, okay. That was easy. Okay, now for a saddle. Chitin? What the f*** is chitin? And more importantly, how do I get it? <laughs> Come on over here. Come on over here. No, you flip me off. Come on, sour. No, no, no. Come on. You're not an intellectual. You're a fake and a fraud. Nah, you ain't gonna steal a single berry from me. This mother don't miss. So yeah, you can apparently get chitin from killing bugs and other weird stuff, according to Google. But I think it's safer to go for bugs than for this crazy looking thing. Now, where would I be hiding if I were a bug? Well, that was easy. Now, for the moment of truth. You can fly! This is insane, dude! I didn't know you could actually fly in this game. Holy shit, I'm up high! I can literally go anywhere now. I'ma ascend beyond. Words. The moon. What the fuck? Why is it just staying still? Oh, f Well, I see that there is a downside of being able to fly. Is there like a limit on how long or high you can fly? Because otherwise, this is excellent. Traveling further away wouldn't be a big problem anymore. Damn, this guy is agile. Just look at him swerve. Oh, sh I do need to work on his stamina though. Oh yeah, I totally forgot that this was supposed to be a rescue mission. Well, be right back. A few moments later. There you are. Now how can I retrieve you in a safe way? Hmm... This works. Oh yeah, and I've always wondered, what's up with those big pillars in the sky? Matter of fact, let me go check it out now that I get this guy. Oh, we should probably name you something before we go. How about... Yeah, that's cool. Wait, isn't that the same pillar I've seen in a previous explorer note? Maybe not, but it looks very familiar. It probably has something to do with the lore of this game. Dude, this is some like outer galaxy alien stuff. What even is this? Oh, you can summon bosses here. In the last video, I asked you guys whether there's bosses in the game or not, and apparently there's a bunch of them, as confirmed by this. But you guys also told me that there's specific items you need to be able to start those fights. Remember that weird feathery thing I saw whilst adventuring? According to y'all, it drops one of those items. A Therizino Claw. Which means I have to kill it if I want to even come close to attempting a boss fight. And the scary thing is, it looked really strong. So I will have to bring the best of my gear and weapons to take it on. What do you mean by that? Maybe a little more arrows wouldn't be dumb to bring. What the f*** has happened while I was gone? There's so many dinos here. That's better. So where are you then? There you are. You're apparently very strong. So I brought the best I could find. Huh? Now, I just gotta kill it. Wait, what? I can't bowl it. Oh, shoot. Well, this ledge is helping a lot right now. Now, my main priority is just to dump as many arrows into you before you can run away. Well, this is... Oh, sh Oh, no, 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 no. Haha! -ha. You fell for it. You think I didn't come prepared? I always think 30 steps ahead of you. I placed bear traps beforehand in case this would happen. But where do I go now? Uh-oh. I didn't think this through. No! You will never take me alive! Damn, that didn't go as well as I hoped. A few moments later. I'm back for round two, baby! What the fuck? Come here! Oh shit. Yes! I thought one bear trap wouldn't be enough. That's so lucky. Well, this is something. Oh, are you running? Must mean you're low on health. Yes! Okay, now I just gotta. Oh, wait. What? Are you serious? Oh my god, I had the wrong arrows equipped. I accidentally used tranquilizer arrows. 
and now this guy is knocked out. Well, I guess we're taming him. It wasn't according to plan, but okay. I don't really know what you prefer, so I'm just gonna give you everything. Oh no, I just remembered. I didn't really notice, but my Parasaur died. <laughs> well, you better be worth it because of that. Two hours later. Oh, finally, dude. That took f ages. But look at you. You look like a big ass dodo. Come here, let me introduce you to the others. So this is Humongous. This is... And this is E. You'll be good friends, I just know it. Now, can I craft a saddle for you, or... Holy shit! Nice. Why does every saddle require you to be such a high level? Last video, I explored a swamp-like place, which you guys told me was a dumb idea, because there isn't a single good resource there, apparently. But now, after a tiny bit of research, I am sure that where I'm going to travel to, there is at least one special resource that is limited to that area. Or so I think, at least. I'm going to travel to that place with the tall ass trees. Oh my god! I was planning on taking my humongous with me since he's a f menace, but now when I look, there's a swamp blocking the way, and we all know what swamps have in store for us. And I can't even ride on him. So I figured that this is a good time to test out my new bird, or whatever, dinosaur. And I will try to retrieve what I'm looking for. I have heard that this place contains pretty strong dinosaurs, but it shouldn't be a problem since I'm never going to come close to the ground. But at the same time, I don't know how often I need to land to get stamina. Dude, this place is cool. Maybe I'll build a base here or something. Oh, maybe you can build in the trees. That would be sick. Look at all the dangerous dinosaurs down there. They can't even reach me. I'm so lucky that I'm not down there amongst them. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. Over the past times we played, we accomplished much more than I thought we could. We ventured into an unknown cave, took to the skies, and more importantly, by mistake, we managed to tame this fella. <laughs> I'm still quite unaware of the capabilities this omnivore of a dinosaur possesses. Oh, sorry. I got a bit too formal there. There's still a lot to this game that's unexplored. Not just the vast majority of dinosaurs, but also the different types of biomes on this island. Which, I still don't know why it's just called the island. In the last video, I got John cena by a big cat. And somehow, my survived. I don't know how, but once I went back to the big forest, he was just chilling there. I was told that the explore notes help you level up quickly, so I went around looking for them, and I'm actually surprised by how many there are. And I also got so much storytelling from them. Oh, and I saw some weird glowing dinosaur. What is that? But now once I've collected like 10 of them, I can finally, finally craft a saddle for my big boy. That's what I'm talking about! Here you go. God damn, that looks epic. Let's test you out. Hey, attack those ones for me. Holy look at all this damage. <laughs> bro, please, bro. Why you do... <laughs> That's payback for what you did to me in the first video. You weird one-horn dinosaur. What? Holy shit, that's a lot of meat. What do you mean by that? Oh yeah, I totally forgot to tell you about the foolishness I committed earlier. I wanted to surprise you all with an awesome adventure. I thought, wouldn't it be cool to explore the ocean? So I tamed this... Dolphin. Huh? Come here, kitty kitty kitty. Even though you're not a kitty. But I thought way ahead of myself. And I somehow managed to totally forget that there's something called... Oxygen. So that adventure ended pretty quickly. I don't really know if there's a point in going to the ocean though. Is there a point in going to the ocean? Oh no, my dolphin! Well, hope we can fight off all of those sharks down there. Good luck! As you may have noticed, my house right now is kinda horrific. Big Bell! It's the biggest piece of dog shit. Or very horrific. So I'm going to at least try out the building a bit more. What are you looking at? A few moments later. Okay, so now I've experimented a bit with the building and... Holy Jesus! I know it looks like a monstrosity right now, but listen, I'll admit, there's some flaws. Like you have to jump up this, and this is a little out of place. But it doesn't matter, because look at this. I have a second floor where my flyer can land. I mean, it's a start, or somewhat. I also found a recipe for a gun. It's expensive, but as of what I've heard, it's worth it. Alright, who will be the first victim to my baby? <laughs> Sir! 
say hello to my little friend. Damn, that was powerful. Oh yeah, and there's something I want to try. You can apparently make dinosaurs f Whoa, 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 nah. Come here. You will be of good use. Heh, heh, heh. Hey, yo, what the f You should be able to... Yeah. Oh, an egg? What do I do with it? Oh, shit. Now when I got access to travel, aka my bird, I have the opportunity to explore this island to its extent. And there's a place that piqued my interest just by how vastly different it seems. And I'm going to the snow biome. I was planning on going later, but the curiosity is eating on me. You all also told me that there's a lot of valuable resources over in the snow biome. I can't imagine what kind of valuable stuff there can be in the snow, but there's no way to know that until you've been there, right? And you guys wouldn't lie to me, would ya? Would ya? Holy shit, this mountain looks epic. Wait, lava? Why the freak is there lava up here? Yo, there's like all sorts of rare stuff up here. Metal, crystal, and what is this? Oh, that's obsidian. I've seen it being in a lot of recipes. Uh, excuse me? Is this like a visual bug or something? Why is there technical stuff here? Oh, this is the same stuff as the big pillar had. Are they connected somehow? Okay, I got a bit distracted. Remember that cave I explored? There's apparently a ton of them scattered around this island. I have no idea on how to easily find them, but to explore. Oh, it's cold. Holy, it's cold. Okay, I'll just put on... Oh shit. I forgot to bring warm clothes. Well, what does warm clothes take to make? Oh yeah, that ain't happening. And how do I get pelt? From some kind of dinosaur? Oh damn, that's a big pigeon. Maybe we can tame one of those. But I'm not so brave that I will attempt that without a trap. Similar to the time I trapped Humongous, I have no clear trap in mind. But I do have a lot of ideas that could work. And for that, I need a lot of fiber. What? Oh my god, picking fiber is such a chore. I wish you could build some kind of machine that does this for you. I also need a ton of stone, wood and thatch. And also a tough armor. Metal armor? Now that's what I'm talking about. If this actually goes to plan, then this will go silky smooth. Almost as smooth as a baby's butt. And hopefully, this will go according to plan. This will be a good place to deploy my trap. And boom. Oh my god. It actually got quite a lot of holes. But it's not quite finished yet. There. This will really help during the process. This billboard will not only boost the chance of the trap working, but also as mental support. Okay, we'll start by getting the pigeon's attention. A quick bite should probably do it. What are you doing, stepbro? Yeah, it's definitely following us now. Proceed to quickly fly straight up into the air. Then do this quick maneuver I call Sky High Aerial Drop. Pay close attention, cause this is the fun part. Then just lead him into whatever you can call this trap. Then quickly place a roof above the big pigeon. And boom. Now we got ourselves a trap bird ready to be put to sleep. Wait, 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 wait. Holy, go to sleep already. Damn, that kind of rhymed though. Nice. Now please tell me he eats berries or meat. Yes, he ate something. Now I will release you, pigeon, or whatever bird you are. Just because of that, I'ma name you Pidgey. Who's that Pokemon? It's the big f pigeon, Pidgey. This looks both weird and epic at the same time. Like we're some kind of Air Force. Welcome to my fabulous home, where you will spend most of your time at this big and amazing rooftop. Large crop plot. There. If I'm correct, you can apparently plant stuff in these. Which means, I'll try to plant some of these mejo berries. No? Why isn't anything happening? I've watered it. Well, maybe we just gotta give it some time. Okay, now, can I craft this saddle for my Pidgey? Bad 
I need more chitin. Oh, you already had a ton on you. Have you been killing stuff on your own again? <laughs> Here you go. Okay, the moment of truth. <laughs> Damn, you're slow. Well, okay. You have to be good in another way then. But what's your secret specialty? During all this time, I've been creating an army of dinosaurs. From this tiny guy to this guy. I've been doing that just so I can prove something. I've heard a lot about a specific dinosaur. The dinosaur crowned king of this game. The T-Rex. Whoa, 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 nah. But you might be asking, how in all God's name can someone like me kill such a beast? Well, you're kinda right. But I'm not going to surrender that goal, and I will kill the king of this game. So we'll need a plan. The plan will contain three different stages. Preparation, operation, and success. Preparation. Preparing equipment, saddles, and consumables will drastically increase the chances of us killing it. I already have most of the stuff, but a little more arrows wouldn't be dumb. Operation. We'll start by infiltrating its territory. From there, we should have an advantage. We'll all attack simultaneously for a guaranteed victory. Success. Uh, it's kinda self-explanatory. And with my newly crafted spyglass, I could confirm that he was a high level, which makes our task to kill it a bit harder. And now there's only one thing left to do. Defeat the King of Ark, the T-Rex. Okay, you'll come with me, and you guys wait here for my signal. Okay, now come. Cross the water quickly. Are you guys ready? Attack now, quickly! Remember to try to dodge its attacks. What? Okay, now it's my turn to take part in this. This is so goddamn epic. Ah! Oh my god, it's dead! Oh my god, we finally did it, guys. After all we've been through, we finally defeated the King of Orc. The T-Rex. Is there anything that can- What the f- Where do you come from? Come at me! You bunch of cowards! Ah! Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Dinosaur Survival Game Ark Survival Evolved. We've been progressing quickly through the game recently. We've been killing dinosaurs, taming birds, and you cannot forget the exploration. Hmm? What was that in the beginning? Well, it was nothing. I was just proving that I could win a fight against a horde of Triceratops barehanded. And let me tell you, I did not win. In the last video, we came over to this place to kill a Rex in its own territory. But then I realized I couldn't really find my way home. So we'll settle down around this big, majestic, floating, heavenly pillar for a while. Oh, and I apologize for thinking that the T-Rex was the king of this game. I really had no way of knowing, but we all make mistakes, don't we? Like, we're all just human after all. Cause... I'm only human after all. I've already started making a base, and look at this piece of art. It's already way better than my last house, which is a good thing. Oh, and say hi to Kevin. Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. He'll stick with us for some time. And oh my god, did I get a lot of comments about this gig on the last video. Y'all are just a bunch of scaredy cats. Like seriously, how strong can it really be? You all said that the Giga was the actual king of this game. You know what? F*** it. We're taming one. Whoa, 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 nah. Not right now, though. I know I don't have a lot of things going on interior, because, like, there's almost nothing interior you can build in this game. But still, it feels really empty in this house. I kind of wish there were more decorations in this game. I've finally figured it out. I've come up with a plan to get one step closer to defeating this game's boss. And that includes making this painting. What? I interrupt this program in order to give you the arc painting experience, which I've named A-R-K, which stands for Art Redirected Knowing. Totally a fitting name. And we will try making this piece of art. It's kind of simple, so we'll have to improve it a bit. You begin with taking the brown coloring and adding some strokes. Like that. There's also the far off coastline that we need to consider. So let's make some of these. Next, equip your black coloring and start outlining the mountains. Like that. No! 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 
no! Equip your blue coloring and start painting out those shores. Then we have to make some gray coloring. Now paint out those mountains with all your desire. Now grab some green and start making the trees. There. Now paint out the rest to have this finished masterpiece. I know we said we follow a specific painting, but this, this is just on a whole nother level. You can really see the extra painting classes I took came into play. You know what? Why don't you leave a comment like, holy, what a nice painting. Nah, but seriously, back to the plan. The plan of taking the boss down is pretty complicated. The first big step will be to tame something. Something strong but small. My humongous is a bit too big for this operation. And yes, now I know there's bigger creatures out there. Therefore, I set out to find something small but strong. I know I specified strong and small, but not this strong. I was searching for a small creature, not some huge elephant worm thingy. <laughs> After a while of constant searching, I found this weird creature. At first, I thought it looked like a raptor, but it was swimming. I didn't have any specific trap in mind, so I just made this one up. If I'm only just gonna trap small dinosaurs, pillars are cheap and they're not too high. I really hope he can't jump. Come here, you weird acorn looking dinosaur. What? Please get into the trap. Yes, it worked. I just considered this trap to be for smaller creatures, but it worked. Ha ha ha, now you're trapped. <gasps> oh, fuck. oh, no, 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 no. Okay, it didn't work. Oh, okay, uh, then plan B, I guess. Wait, why is he just taking it? Oh, no, don't run into the water. Yes, he got knocked out. Now, what does this creature eat? Okay, I know this guy is kind of low level, but he's still suitable for the operation. Now, please tell me you eat berries or meat. Okay, it's been some time now, but he's still not eating. Does he eat something like crazy hard to get? Oh, okay, apparently it just eats fish. You're a fish, right? <gasps> now, that's a fish if I ever saw one. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Then I led him all the way back home, which was a pain in the ass. And then I proceeded to crop this baryonic saddle. Here you go. Oh, we should probably give you a name. Hmm. Yeah, that suits you. Oh, and I got some weird material. Oh, you can craft leaf armor with these. Well, the next step of the plan is to utilize the tools and equipment I got to take on the caves. And I'm gonna get revenge on that cave I attempted a while ago. It should be around here somewhere. Oh yeah, there it- What the fuck? Kevin, how did you get here? It's actually my second time being in this specific cave. But as some of you may know, the first time went, well, not as planned. But now, with this guy, it will hopefully go better. I just hope we don't encounter some, like, extraterrestrial demon that knows Binjutsu or has a black belt in karate. Okay, so if I remember correctly from the last time, this cave is kinda deep. What do you mean by that? Oh my god, hope my guy can fit all the way. That would suck if he can't. And if I also remember correctly, you can gather crystal around here somewhere. It's one of the benefits of coming here, cause I don't think there's crystal anywhere else than these caves. Crystal is pretty useful in this game. You can make a spyglass and a bunch of special structures. Do you honestly think I don't see you? <laughs> nah, man, you come down there. Oh, there's two! F f him. No, I'm pretty sure those are very powerful. Oh, he's in the ground! Back off, back off. Okay, they can't even touch me. <laughs> You're just waiting here, aren't you? What is going on with this cave? Like, it's... Like, why is it pulsating? Whoa, this is cool. There is a lot of vegetation here. And a ton of insects. I hate insects. Holy shit, that's a lot of bugs. Oh, no. Yeah, that is not a sh short amount of bugs. Okay, my guy is taking care of them. Oh, no, I'm not feeling all right. Wait, my guy doesn't fit in here. Do I have to leave you behind? Well, I got my crossbow, so... Come at me! Oh my god, what is that? That looks so alien, but also valuable. Give me it. An artifact? Oh! Yeah, this is definitely the thing I'm looking for. Okay, now let's just get out of here quickly. Oh my god, that's a lot of stuff. Run! Oh no, why did I get dismounted? What? Oh shit, this isn't good. <laughs> Hey all, Scott here, and this is bad. Real bad. Okay, that was easier than I expected. Is this serious? I felt satisfied with completing the cave, so I went out to look for more caves. What? What the fuck is that? God? Nah, but seriously, that's too big. That's even much bigger than Humongous. What are you called? Titanosaurus. Let's kill it. Hold up. 
Wait a minute. Come at me. Are you serious, my brother? Oh, no, that's a lot of damage. Oh my god. Well, my bird won't help because you have to bite him to damage him. But I do have my crossbow. I think it's time for another sky high aerial drop. Wait, I don't have any parachutes. Uh, what? I survived? Oh, I shouldn't have said anything. No! Are you kidding me? Oh my, why? What happened to the seven parachutes I crafted earlier? Oh, wait. I put them in the smithy. My disappointment is immeasurable. Well, that sucks. My bird was literally my best companion. Can I get a RIP for XA12? Yeah, I don't think we're anywhere near ready to kill whatever that dinosaur was. Oh, and this guy can apparently pick up other dinosaurs. What? This is a strong boy. This opens up a whole lot of possibilities for dinosaur travel. Wait, can he? No, he can't. That would have been ridiculous. Okay, so I think it's about time we fulfill our kept word. I'll keep the cave exploring on hold for a bit. We are going to attempt the impossible as you are describing it. Yes, you. I'm talking to you specifically. But taming the Giganotosaurus... Is that what it's named? Well, it isn't going to be easy. Therefore, I've come up with a fail-proof plan. And I'm pretty sure this one's going to be put in the Guinness World Record for smartest plan ever. Cause to be able to even understand this plan, you gotta have a minimum of 300 IQ. Huh? We'll need some building material and a whole lot of green arrows. That's a good amount. And this is just if the fail-proof plan goes south. Which it won't. And then we just gotta find one. I've heard that they like being around mountains and cliff sides. So it shouldn't take too long to find one. Oh, there's one! It actually took a while to find one. Okay, it is a lot bigger than I expected it to be. But that doesn't matter in this plan. Because in this plan, size doesn't matter. Ahem. <laughs> We'll place the genius trap right here. This is what I call the ladder to heaven trap. It's beautiful. I assume it's capable of destroying wooden structures, but once I'm up here, I won't need these wooden ladders anymore. But the actual structure itself is stone, so we should be good. Come here, you big chungus. You picked the wrong house, fool! You're going to sleep whether you like it or not. Wait, it destroys stone? Uh-oh. Um, I think it's time we commence plan B. Where's my bird? Didn't I put him down there? Well, clearly he's not loyal yet. No! This is the worst possible outcome! Holy! Yeah, okay, I underestimated the Giga by a huge margin. Well, hmm. I gotta think of some other way. Cause there's no way I'm giving up. Oh my god, that thing is close to our base. Too close. Oh, wait. It has a red glowing aura. From what I've understood, that means it is an alpha dinosaur. Meaning it is a lot stronger than regular dinosaurs. Well, we can't have that thing walking by our base. We gotta get rid of it. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Oh, and the bird had flew off because for some reason, it had the order to passive flee. Bruh. I'm a high level right now after going on the biggest XP grind last video. Which means I got a lot of options. And the only thing holding me back is really my imagination. Our enemy is similar to the red glowing dinosaur we saw in the previous time, but this one's a lot bigger. So I went over the possibilities I have, and I ended up with the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. But for that, I need a lot more metal. But that won't be a problem since I have this guy and a whole Holy lot of pickaxes. Okay, you don't want to see this. There's nothing entertaining about watching someone grinding for resources. There's nothing more boring. So instead, I will tell you a story whilst I get the necessary resources. Once upon a time- Okay, with all the necessary materials, my imagination could be put to reality. I also crafted this grenade, but we'll save it for emergency only. So I started deploying the Fortress of Launching Spears, as I call it, near the Alpha. And it's pretty cool if I'd say so myself. <laughs> this game should have never given me this kind of power. This is the Alpha Killer Machine Fortress of Launching Spears. Now it's time to get its attention. Come here, you big short hand dinosaur. Then it's time to just put my bird on top where it can't be reached. And then just break havoc with this spear catapult? I have no idea what this is called. But holy crap, it does damage. But now I know this spear catapult's middle name is Alpha Killer. What? Just die already. How much health does this guy have? Honestly. 
Yes! He's dead! He's finally dead! My guy, are you good? I will admit, he was really strong, but he stood no chance against this beauty of a machine I created. Do you get something from killing him? Oh, I did get some loot! Oh, there's different rarities of armor in this game! This was so worth it! And you gotta have this in mind, this was an alpha creature. And I think this has to be the biggest alpha creature, cause holy, this one's big. We've done it. We have now encountered some insane creatures who have been deemed kings of this game. These creatures are still quite unknown to me, but time will only tell until I've bested all of them. Oh, are you shocked? A regular peaceful ending isn't what you expected. Well, when I'm around, there's nothing that can go wrong. And I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye Oh! No! What was that in my whole po- Minasan! Konnichiwa! Soshite yokoso! Hey yo, what the fuck? Nah, I'm just kidding. And welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. <laughs> In the last video, we did the most crazy stuff imaginable. Ahem, <clears throat> don't ask me about it. Just don't. We literally encountered dinosaurs the size of giants. Three of the most ferocious dinosaurs on this island. And I'm still quite shook from that. But you know what made me more shook? The fact that you haven't joined the Discord server yet. Our brand new Discord server has just dropped and you haven't joined. You can get access to behind the scenes, early access stuff, and a whole lot more. It is one of the ways you can really get a connection with not just me, but the whole community. I really advise you to join it, because it will be so much fun hanging out over there. Link to the Discord server is in the description. And oh my god am I excited for today. Ever since I heard about this, I have been eager to play. Remember that small monkey I saw in like part 2? Well, I just recently found out that there's a big monkey. Oh my god! And I gotta have one. Like, immediately. Someone said that they were living in the big tree woods, and if I have learned anything from playing this game, I should most likely not fly over there. I just hope they're relatively easy to find. What the? Is this some kind of chicken? Well, we're eating KFC tonight. Alright, there's one. I just hope... Can you bola him? No, you can't! Come on, monkey! Just go out! Just think about how good of friends we're going to be! Oh! He's knocked out! Oh, no! You don't have to knock this one out, do you? Ah! Oh. Yeah, I should definitely double check before taking action in scenarios like these. Guess we'll just wait! A few moments later... Okay, so you have to sneak up behind him and feed him berries. Exactly as you did with the tiny monkey. Except, this time, if you mess up, he's not going to be happy. <laughs> I got him! I got a monkey! Oh my god, you ride on his shoulders. That's awesome! The developers really know what the player wants. Like, this is peak gameplay. Oh, oh my god, he can throw you! Uh, how the f*** am I not dead? Let's take you home. Yeah, my house is not in the best shape right now, though I have decorated the house a tiny bit. Last video, I- Oh my god! What is that? What? It has an alpha glow! Oh my god, you guys killed an alpha! How's everybody doing? Oh, Kevin, you're not looking so good. As I was saying, last video, I talked about the interior being dull and that the outside was the only good piece about this house. But now, it has kinda uno reversed itself. What the frick? <laughs> Oh, and someone told me that the organic polymer I got is edible, and supposedly a very good food source. I mean, I did get it from an animal, so... <laughs> huh? Bro, I'm getting trust issues with you guys. As you can see, I don't have any clothes on. That's because the grenade in the last video blew up. When it shouldn't have. And it resulted in my entire metal armor breaking. But I thought, instead of just crafting a new set, why don't we craft something better? Like this fur armor, for example. The problem is, I have no idea where to get the pelt. But you see, after a tiny bit of research, I found out that the only way to get this pelt, you need to actually travel to the winter biome. What? 
Yes, you heard me. To craft something warm that will protect you from the cold, you need to go to the cold so you can craft something warm. Bruh. But then I thought of something genius. What if I bring something insanely hot to the cold? That's what I'm saying. Then I wouldn't actually need the warm armor. And no, I'm not talking about myself, guys. <laughs> And what's hot and easy to make? Campfires, I say. But the problem is having the campfires near you whilst you go over there. And then I found this. Skip, skip. But when does this game get fucking good? A raft? You can build boats in this game? Well, that's kind of perfect, actually. If you can build on top of them, that is. Boom. Okay, you can. Then I'm just gonna craft a bunch of stuff, and then we'll test this baby out. Okay, now I put a bunch of campfires on the raft, which should theoretically, and according to physics, chemistry, biology, all I'm saying is, if this doesn't work, then it's the game's fault. Ahoy, mateys. Let's set sail into the sunset. Oh my god. No, please. Please outrun them. No! Big Bird, do something! Big Bird? Barbecue bacon burger. No! You will never take me alive! Okay, change of plans. I'll fly over there with my bird and then place a raft nearby. Because we cannot navigate through this whole island. There's too many weird dinosaurs who want to attack us. Oh, and I just found out that there's a map. So I now know roughly where I'm going. We'll deploy our second raft here. Oh my god! Now, let's set sail. And hopefully not encounter anything bad this time. Hopefully. I really haven't thought about how beautiful the ocean is in this game. I mean, at least at the surface. I have no idea what is lurking at the bottom. But it hopefully isn't that bad. Oh my god. Is that a shark? Oh, hell nah. I'm out of here. Oh, I see snow. It took a while, but I think we have arrived. And I'm not even cold yet. Which was a sign that my theory was indeed correct but now i just gotta get to the land i'll park the raft around here i prepared some structures so we can create some kind of outpost over here just in case something goes wrong oh yeah and i have crafted a saddle for the big dodo bird but he sadly stood no chance against those weird t-rexes and i really hope i don't lose this bird considering we are in unknown territory yeah this looks good i'm kind of on a clock right now because once i leave the campfires i will freeze to death so i just gotta find something quickly oh that looks like it has a lot of fur on it come on pidgey let's see what you got nice yeah they dropped some pelt the question is is it enough oh my god barely and i still can only just afford a jacket and pants well now we've kind of fulfilled what we came here for why not explore this beautiful and calm snow environment whilst we're here that's what i'm saying and now we have some insulating armor so it we cannot be a waste not to oh this isn't stone it's oil it's oil a rare resource in this game maybe we can make fuel and fuel some kind of car and race across the map or something what what the f is that that's some like feathery t-rex a dodo rex probably not what are you called a utyrannus 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 yet i rannus i don't know how to pronounce it what the f my dude has freaking bodyguards that's pretty cool let's kill it whoa 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 nah. sir i'm here to assert dominance would you humbly accept to die come on pg attack him with your talons uh oh it's doing a lot of damage actually wait a minute this was not a good idea i surrender no why'd my guy land all of a sudden help where are you going <laughs> you son of a bitch well i messed up how is that even allowed like what adventures like these always end up the same the only reason i can think of is that i'm underpowered maybe the level of the dinosaur matters more than i thought i mean that's kind of obvious that it would from the beginning i thought it was just a minor difference well then i'm gonna go try to tame the highest level creature i can find oh and remember this big guy from the first video well this one's a pretty high level and i've decided that he's going to be a part of our team our future Army. Huh? 
army, you might be asking. What kind of army? Well, isn't it obvious? I need to build an army so I can finally face the bosses of this game. But cuz, the bosses are super hard. Because the bosses are really dangerous. No, because I am the danger. Sorry for being rude, guys. I love you. Okay, so let's knock him out. Oh, wait, let me check something first. Oh my god, okay. You don't need to knock him out to tame it. Glad I checked that. But how do you tame it? Maybe like the other dinosaurs? Feeding it berries? Yeah, that's it! Though, you will require a lot of berries, won't you? Oh my god, finally! Now we got ourselves a monster of a dinosaur on our team. Like, look! It's the size of humongous! And of course you gotta have a saddle. Here you go. Wait, is all of those seats? Yeah, they're all seats. It's almost like a bus or a train. Oh my god, you're gonna be named Thomas the Dank Engine. That's what I'm this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is a masterpiece. I realized that I would need a couple more dinosaurs if I were to attempt the boss fight. I was not really at a stage where I could afford a plan to tame something like one of those Giganotosauruses, but I did have some brain cells left that came up with this genius strategy. This is exactly what I've been waiting for. I was just scrolling through the engrams, which is basically recipes for stuff you can make, I guess. And then I saw this beauty of a thing. Like what? A platform saddle. At first, I imagined that it's like a saddle where birds could land on or that you can build on it. But I'm not sure since I really don't do research on anything in this game. But the only thing I can do if research is a no is to try it out on one of these Paraceratherium. I'm probably mispronouncing it. And then I remember that I've actually encountered one of those before. Yeah, that's one of them. I think. Yeah, that's definitely one of them. Okay, do you want berries? No? Then it's time to start shooting. Oh, wait, I have a better idea. This is what I call a huge distraction. And this distraction will buy me time for him to be knocked out. <laughs> Okay, nice. You look really derpy, but that doesn't matter cuz you're now my friend. And now comes the tedious part of getting metal for this platform saddle and one more thing. This really is the definition of satisfaction. Even though it's boring just mining for metal and doing laps, it's still insanely satisfying in the end. But now once all the iron has melted, I could make this piece of art. Holy Jesus. And then for the cherry on top. Most of you know by now the power I wield with one of these guys. So therefore, I'm finally going to take down and tame a T-Rex. Is this serious? So this is how it's gonna go. I will try to tame it. There's one right next to my home. Yeah, I don't live at a safe place, do I? Well, okay, this is going to be a bit difficult to pull off. Come here, chump. <laughs> Then you lure him closer to us, a bit closer, and you're trapped. Ooh, what am I gonna do? Then just jump down. Oh, that's high. Oh. Then quickly, whilst he's stuck in the chains, put these metal gateways around him. This will ensure that he stays in there. Holy, he's really stuck, isn't he? And I'm not taking any risk with him being able to destroy stone structures. Cause you know what happened last time. Though these were really expensive. Come on, man. How many arrows does it take for you to go sleepy sleepy? Oh my god, can you just go to sleep already? Oh, that's close. I wish like you could craft something that's better at putting dinosaurs to sleep. Like some freaky ultra paralyzing club or something that's what i'm saying oh yes you were a real stubborn guy to knock out now i guess someone like you likes meat what do you mean by that otherwise it would be kind of weird okay this is going to take a while two hours later Hello and welcome to our family, big guy. Damn, he's big. Come over here, I wanna compare the size of you and Humongous. Why are you sniffing my boho? Yeah, okay, they're kinda the same size. Therefore, you will be named Tyrone Rexus. Ooh, I like that. You know what? I have no clue how strong or weak this boss is, so I'm gonna kill it to find out. Whoa, 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 now. Nah. You got too much dip on your chill. I mean, look at this. We already have some kind of an army going on. We we have a humongous alligator with a huge spine, a monkey, a huge T-Rex, and you cannot forget Kevin. I'm pretty sure based off what I've heard from you guys that this thing is where you start the actual fight. Okay, form a line everybody. What do you reply when I tell you fight? 
Good. What do you reply to that we will emerge victorious? Good enough. Now we have established a good war cry and rhythm among the army. We have explored this island high and low for all it's worth. From the snow-covered environment to the depth of the underground. High up in the mountains to low into the swamp. And then it was finally time to begin my journey to the end. It was time to defeat the boss of Ark Survival Evolved. Oh shit. Hello everybody and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. Except, we're going to wait with whatever monstrosity this is, and I'm gonna snap my fingers and... BOOM! Ha! Bet you've never seen this menu before, have you? Sorry, I'll get to the point. Ark Survival of Old is a game about surviving the harsh environment surrounded by these weird reptiles called dinosaurs. As we've seen before, it takes place at some island called... The Island. But what if I were to tell you that there's actually a whole bunch of other places it takes place at? Yeah, I was just as shocked when I found out. Yeah, I know, we're getting to it. But currently, I have six parts of Ark Survival Vault up on the channel. Which is convenient, because there's six distinctly different DLCs to this game. All with their unique quirk and content. Oh, and the ongoing series of me completing the first map, The Island, is still in progress. I just want to have a look at what's awaiting us in the future. And no, I won't be exposing myself to any major spoilers or the really special content these maps offer. But I will find out if they are as scary as some of you have described it. Especially that cave one. But before we begin, remember to... Here we are. The Scorched Desert of Ark Survival Evolved. I'm still quite frightened of this map, cause I've seen some screenshots and it looks insane. And yeah, as you'd expect, it's hot. Hot diggity dog! This place is magnificent! Oh, and look at the character I created. Yo quiero Taco Bell. Oh, wow. Really bring the feels to this map with some cacti, huh? What other deserty things exist on this map? What in all hell is that? That's a freaking, um... What is that? A spiky chameleon? I know we're just checking this map out, but let's try to tame it. What? Why am I dying? Oh, out of the heat, duh. <laughs> I wonder if it's possible with a slingshot. Um, <clears throat> I mean, everything's possible once you have faith. I just hope faith doesn't get me killed here. Let's get some wood. All right, Mr. Chameleon. It's a face-off. <gasps> you picked the wrong house, fool! Oh, shit. Okay, confirmed he's aggressive. <laughs> You're too short. You can't reach me. Oh shit, why can it shoot things? Why can it shoot things out of its butt? Hey, yo. No! You know, I've never told you this before, but my favorite landscape in real life is actually a desert or savanna. Oh, this is cute. Is it a monkey? Bruh. Now come here. Oh my god, that really hurt my throat. Oh, it's knocked out? Well, I guess it was pretty weak then. Here, you'll get some berries, cause I don't have anything else. Oh, that was fast. You're gonna be named Henrik the Y. What? I was gonna name you Henrik the Wise, but Y will do. Oh shit, wait, let me get some more of these jarboas. Come here. I'm gonna make a factory. A jarboa factory. Well, we do have to move on, so... Next map we go! Welcome to the underground world, which arc changes to a massive cave map with many hazards, such as earthquakes. And just look at this place. I've heard that there aren't any birds in this DLC, so we'll have to stick to the ground, which is probably for the best. And if I ever would have felt claustrophobic, it will be on this map. I mean, I cannot imagine all the small caves and tight crevices there on this map. Oh, what? Why am I... I'm drowning? What did I do? And why am I shitting so goddamn much? Wait, these aren't normal dinosaurs. They're glowing. Are they supposed to be like that? What the f- Optimus Prime? Hello, you're cool. Oh, but you're a heck of a lot cooler. That's a big snake if I ever saw one. Oh, shit, my boy's getting bullied by those dinosaurs. Help! 
The fascinating thing about these maps is the potential in the lore and storytelling it has. Like, all this seems so mysterious and ominous. I mean, for all I know, it could be something like, oh, a couple of rocks fell into a pile of ants and created dinosaurs and a whole underground civilization. Huh? And also, I chose the easiest place on the map to spawn. And so far, it has been pretty darn dangerous. I wonder where this big metal thing is leading us. Whoa, yeah, this is a huge bridge. Oh, there's water down there. What in all of Jesus Christ is that, Mr. Krabs? I'm gonna test something. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. I wonder if you take fall damage from falling into the water. Do you think we'll survive this? Let's go for it. <laughs> I'm fine, I guess. Oh, this is an earthquake, huh? Oh, stuff falls from the ceiling. Thanks, Jesus, for blessing me with four wood. I still can't believe we went from a normal island to this. I can't wait to see how dramatically different the other DLCs are. The only thing I think would be too much is like in outer space or like in hell or something. Damn, I gotta say, this place is really beautiful. Apart from the danger that's everywhere around you, of course. What, what the fuck? What are you? Are you the dog sent by the devil? Well, that's inconvenient. We can all agree that this map is dangerous, but also quite magnificent for a first impression. I like it. Welcome to the abandoned cities and corrupted earth. And yes, as you can see, I'm currently standing right in front of a T-Rex. This DLC seems to be more futuristic by the screenshots. Robots, drones, and weird purple looking dinosaurs. This one is one of the more harder ones as it takes place in a world where earth is on the the brink of mass extinction. That's what I'm saying. And there's also a rumor that the wild Vsauce is around here. What? The urban legend says at the beginning of the extinction, Vsauce took shelter to what the? Hey, oh my God, Vsauce! That's a legend here. But where is here, and whose mass is it? But memes aside, this city looks pretty dope. What the f was that? I mean, you wouldn't ever be able to see something like this on the island. I'd say this place is really old. These vegetations and ruins make it look like a hundred years old. You gotta love the lore. Ow! Oh, so you're just gonna hit me and run. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't mind living at a peaceful place like this. It's very calm compared to the other two maps. Whoa. Yeah, that's hypnotizing. Whoa, okay. There's something really dangerous in town. Hey, get down here. I'm the watcher of this city now. What? How? Where did you come from? No! The screenshot said you were friendly! Yeah, what's up with that? The description for the DLC said that the robots were friendly. I guess not. I wonder what happens if you decide to leave the city. Maybe I just want a breath of fresh air. Not any city air, of course. <laughs> okay. If these sh would just leave me alone. Oh, I'm not taking any risks with any of you again. So, this place is supposedly a really dangerous place. But there's places far out in these lands I want to discover. It says that each of these bubbles contains a whole unique map in it. Which sounds really cool. But to get to them, you have to cross this death of a place. Oh, it's further than I imagined. Are you freaking serious? I mean, look at that. What even is that well i guess this one's also a difficult one but this map got some really interesting and unique things in it this is probably my favorite one so far this is a simulation we got literally somehow we've ended up in a simulation where dinosaurs have started to become weird in this dlc there's multiple biomes in one map but what stood out to me was this swamp looking map i know me and the swamp have history but it seems very interesting and keep in mind that i will not fully explain explore all DLCs, so there's something you can look forward to. Winky face. Yeah, this is a swamp alright. Don't tell me there's more of those suckers here. Oh, hello. You are cool. Aren't you the one introducing me to this expansion pass? Oh, we can buy stuff from you. What is all of this? Oh my god, a squirt gun. What? I have to get that. Well, what, uh, what the freak is this currency? Do I have to kill dinosaurs to get these points? I can do that. 
probably. Okay, there's a dinosaur. Booga booga. Yeah, thanks for not helping, douchebag. Okay, now, did I get some of these hexagons? Seems not. What the? Is this some kind of... Oh my god, you can play mini games. I don't know if that's totally game changing or just a fun mechanic. But let's try playing some of this dodo ball. Oh my god. Is this like basketball, but the ball is a dodo bird? Yeah. I don't know what the developers was on when they made this, but I kind of like it. I probably shouldn't say this, but Kobe! Damn, that was actually fun. I can just imagine how fun it would be to get a couple of friends up in here and play this dodo ball thing. It would honestly be hilarious. Okay, so they mentioned something about teleportation to other biomes. Ah, okay, that's it. Let's try going to the volcano map. I like a challenge. And it should be a cool experience. What the... Whoa, this is cool. Yeah, I should have guessed it was hot here. Oh, one of you again. Yeah, this is not a pleasant place. Oh, I have points now. When did I get those? Yeah, this definitely looks like an evil planet. What the frick? What? Why is there another big snake here? How many fins am I holding up? Survivor? Shut your bi- Um... Yeah, I was a bit lost when I saw the title. This is part two of Genesis, I guess. But, ahem. <clears throat> this is Genesis part two, the outer space station map. I may eventually understand the story of this game, but how the f*** did we end up here? What? I'm Iron Man? Why do I have this armor on me? What the- Qualcomm! That's so cool. Are there any keybinds on what it can do? Oh my god, I have to show you all this. You can actually fly. Is this serious? Or I guess double jump. And I don't even take fall damage. What is this? I mean, I just got into this map and I've already achieved like god status. What else is there to get when you have everything? You know what? I'm going to take that one on. What? without any dinosaur to help me. Come here, big boy. I'm here to prove that I'm the ruler of these lands. Now give me that sweet ass. Hey, yo. This is like a freaking anime battle, or rather a battle between gods. Now die under the name of my- Okay, maybe I overestimated the power of this Iron Man suit. Where the hell am I? What is this place? Oh my god, you look cool. Whoa, this is a big metal compound. I mean, it's massive. Oh shit, I'm getting attacked. Oh, this leads somewhere. Are you kidding me? Space? This has got to be some kind of a sick joke. Can I go out there? I can! But what am I supposed to do out here? Or rather, what can I do here? I mean, are there rare resources out here or something? Cause I don't imagine there being dinosaurs in space. Now, can I get out of here? Wait, what? What in all of God's name is that? Hello everybody and welcome back to Ark Survival yes! Evolved. Yes! Yeah. And also welcome back to this nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> The dinosaur game, which never fails to surprise me. What do you want? Legalize nuclear bomb. I mean, he got what he deserved. I've teased you with this ridiculous house before, but I think it's time for a proper house tour. I really like this space. It feels cozy and inviting. Not to forget to mention all the built-in features. Oh, hello, sure. Andrew Tate. Don't Makes mind him. Beautiful. He likes to hang out here sometimes. Some features are ovens, a crafting table. Oh, yes. Yeah, smithy and a lot of storage then we also have a new upstairs apartment it's quite empty right now but it's still in progress between these times i've been preparing for the huge boss fight but as i didn't know you need really rare kind of artifacts to summon the boss which clearly i've not gotten but most importantly i went on the dangerous mission to rescue my bird from the snow biome and it went just as expected but in the end, I could successfully retrieve him. He honestly makes the game much easier, especially with travel. What are these? Oh yeah, are these lumps of wood beaver dams? Also known as dams built by beavers? Boy, if you don't a bird came flying by and whispered in my ear that these give a decent amount of wood, which would be pretty nice. Because farming for wood is such a pain. Okay, you can open them, which is kind of weird. Oh, why are you mad? What I do? 
What did I do? What? Oh, yeah, I did figure out that this bird could pick up dinosaurs. I wonder if this bird can pick up a whole beaver. Or is it only dinosaurs that I've tamed? Oh, my God. Is it mad? No? Well, let's kidnap him. And also, let's experiment with him. Weird, buddy. You're weird! I have a few things I haven't really tried out yet. And this guy looks capable. And thick as fuck. Whoa, 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 nah. First off, are you mad? Then it's time for the first experiment. Do these cages work as a trap? Yeah, kinda. Well, okay, no. Second experi- where did you go? The second experiment is a double. I got a tip to craft one of these magnifying glasses to see when a dinosaur will go to sleep. I don't know how this applies to realism, but... And next, I'm going to try to knock it out using one of these poison gas traps. Place one there and there. Now please just walk into it. Damn, that's a lot of gas. Now let's see how close you are to sleeping. Oh my god, not even close. Last one. I wanted to try out one of these stun batons I got from one of those heavenly triangles. Whatever they're called. I suppose you just hit him with it. Oh, it broke. I only hit him one time, though. And yes, the description was right. It did do a little bit of tranquility on him. The magnifying glass, now that I think about it, is very useful, since I can now see when the dinosaurs, or I guess beavers, go to sleep. All right, enough fooling around. Now let's knock this bastard out, because I really hope that's how you tame this one. But before that, I'ma quickly hit you with this ad. Oh, you didn't get an ad. Ah, now come here. You're now on my territory, so there's no turning back. Oh, you're running? Well, no one's ever escaped an encounter with me. Oh, you're asleep already. All right, some berries here and maybe some meat. I'ma name you. I don't know why I thought of this, but Shaquille Oatmeal. Oh, hell. And of course, you need a saddle, my friend. Damn, that's expensive. What kind of dinosaur are you even? So I recently found out you can paint structures, and I wanted to make the coolest base ever. But then, a thought came to mind. Wait a goddamn minute. You gotta be kidding me. You can paint the dinosaurs! Oh, and I really don't get to talk about this much, but so far, all of your suggestions, tips, and tricks have helped me out a lot. Like, just look at this. Thanks, Red Dragon 15. And I decided that if I painted my beaver green, wouldn't it look like one of those guys? Well, no. But I kind of wish you could paint the saddles, too. That would be really cool. Oh, shit, that guy's being swarmed. Man, I really don't want that to happen to- Oh, no, no one you are yet- Even though the swamp is a useless place to explore, it has a lot of water and beavers are fast swimmers no yes they are so this place is good to just swim around with it okay maybe we should be more productive i'm really interested on in how the boss acts in this game so i want to start getting these artifact things and as i've interpreted it you need a lot of those and you also find them in really rare caves some caves are really hard to find and some are just in the open luckily for us there's websites to help you with that and I think I'm going to stick with my boy James LeBrown, cause he really killed it with the last cave we explored. The question is if you want me to show you every one of these artifacts that I retrieve. It could be fun to show my reaction in the moments, but it would probably be easier if I got to focus a bit more. But it's up to you. What the heck is that? Oh shit. Caves, like that previous one, I assume are the easy ones, but there's apparently a few of those underwater. Or at least what you guys have told me. Do you think I can make this jump? Well, let's try it out. Booyah! Yes, it wasn't lying. The cave is actually here. Now, I hope I don't get bombarded with enemies once again. Ooh, more of these fancy mushrooms I see. I wonder if they're edible. Damn, that's a lot of snakes, dude. No, don't tell me there's a lot of things here. Though, on the other hand, my guy gets a lot of competition. Holy shit. I really hope there's some cool and rare dinosaurs in some of these caves. And oh boy, am I not ready to encounter one. Oh shit, there's a lot. Oh my god, run. Oh my god, I juked them with the ring around Rosie's method. <laughs> okay. I started blasting. Oh, there it is. 
this. Yeah, I also crafted one of these grappling things just for an escape option. Because if I've learned anything from this game, you really need to be prepared. There it is. Oh, this one's a fancy one. I guess every artifact looks different. Ah, now we're out. Another cave completed. What the? What are they doing? Oh, that's uh, one of these explore notes. Man, you gotta love the nature in this game. Truly stunning. I'm also going to make another one of these artifact pedestals. You know what? Let's move them both upstairs. Yeah, that looks sick. I wonder how many there are. And I hope they fit in this room. Is that a dragon? I want that. Try it! Oh, that was fast. Yeah, it kind of looks like a dragon. Does this mean dragons have been confirmed in Ark Survival Evolved? You'll be given the name... Dragon These Ball. Oh boy, oh brother, wow. Some time ago, I decided it would be a good idea to attempt something. I wanted to tame the big dinosaur known as a Giga. And of course, it didn't go as planned. It was because I was unprepared. But I won't give up. And I finally think I have a good plan. Well, I just need to switch up the formula a bit. You remember those narcotic wire gas traps? Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. They weren't so effective against the beaver, but I thought that maybe it's better against larger dinosaurs. But there was a bit of a problem. The cost that I calculated would be huge. And it was. I don't know why I did it, but I thought it would be pretty epic in the end. So I sat down for two whole hours and farmed resources. And then came another problem. It could obviously destroy stone structures, so I had to reconsider on making the same trap. Well, it turns out that if I switched the stone with metal, this method would work. The problem is also the cost. One pillar is 25 metal each, and I would need about 12 of them, plus a hatch. And plus some extra stuff, which ends up being 670 metal. And after a tedious time of farming, I could execute this plan. Which was to begin with just placing out the trap. So I quickly skedaddled to the place and started working. Though it may have taken a lot of farming, it was spectacular in the end. Then for the actual hard part of this trap, I have to place out all of these gas traps individually. This, as you can probably imagine, took a while. A little longer... And... Done. This looks deadly. But now, with everything set up, I can fucking find it. Oh, and Shaquille Oatmeal will be here to help me out. You already know who it is. Come here, you ugly lizard. Bitch, I hope the fuck you do. You'll be a dead son of a bitch. It's time for you to get a good night's sleep. Okay, fast. Juke him and place gates behind them. Haha, now you're trapped. Now, just for safety measures sake, let's pump him with arrows. Just let it happen, and we're going to be good friends. Just don't surprise me that you can destroy metal out of a sudden. That would honestly terrify me. And my tiny cute beaver isn't going to be happy if you don't fall asleep. Right in the eye. You big ugly lizard. Dude, I see that there's a few more traps you haven't walked into. I spent a long time getting those. So would you mind walking into them? No? Well, go to sleep then, goddammit. Oh shit, that didn't take as long as I anticipated. But I'm not going to complain. This monster is so cool, dude. Let me go grab some meat. Three days later. Ooh, baby, this one's huge. It took a while for it to wake up. With a while, I mean a long time. But it's finally up and standing after having to take care of it for what felt like hours. There was some times that the tranquility meter was about to run out, and I can just assume that it wakes up then which would not be good not at all let's take you home damn you're a lot bigger than the rest oh shit i'm stuck, Don't stuck! Don't stuck! i mean i still can't imagine that this big of a dinosaur is allowed in the game but we got it on the second attempt oh yeah we should probably give it a saddle maybe it's like a cool one with like four seats or a rocket launcher wait i totally forgot what you called again oh yeah giganotos Saurus. I just hope it doesn't. Are you kidding me? Uh, I don't really have a good explanation on how I ended up here. Hello 
everybody and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. Dinosaurs. Big, big dinosaurs. And some flying reptiles. That basically summarizes this game. But you may think you've seen everything this game has to offer. Oh, not even close. There's stuff you can't even imagine. As you may remember, this big guy joined us last time. But I've done goofed. We forgot to name him. <gasps> But don't worry, I set up a poll for you to decide which nickname would be best out of some I had thought of. And the one to win was of course my favorite as well. Welcome to the squad, Gilbert. Our hunt for these artifacts are yet to end, but I'm kind of running low on ideas where they can be found. Except the ocean. And I'm not talking about the underwater ocean. I'm not that dumb that I want to go under the water. Because I'm already traumatized of the ocean from playing Subnautica. Which you should go watch after this. Ah? See how I promoted that? Anyways, as you can see, this island itself is surrounded by many smaller islands. And there cannot be a place on this map where I haven't laid my mark. And that of a genius that I am, I have a new invention. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Which might just give us the opportunity to visit the islands this this thing i'm really proud of behold my spectacular masterpiece <laughs> My disappointment is immeasurable. It is kind of a bus that can carry lots of dinosaurs on its back. It's a dinosaur bus, but I can't really decide which of my buddies to bring with me. Cause this bus is big, but not that big. Uh, let's do a coin flip. We're doing a coin flip for who to bring, except James LeBrown. Cause he will be necessary for the adventure, so he's guaranteed to come with us. Which of my dinos will join me? It's either Pidgey the Argentavis, which is for heads, or Humongous the Big Alligator for Tails. And... Pidgey will join us. Then we can just put you onto the platform. Alright, next up. Will Shaquille Oatmeal join us for Heads? Or will Monkey join us for Tails? And whoever lands on Tails, Monkey will follow us. I kinda knew you would follow along. Alright, last one. Will Thomas the Dank Engine come with us? Damn, your head is long. Or the Small Baba Boy 2 for Tails. Heads? for Thomas the Dank Engine and Tails for Baba Boy 2. And it is heads! Alright Thomas, you'll come with us. Wait, how am I gonna get you on top of the platform? Oh shit. Oh yeah, and I recently remembered how good my last Pteranodon was, so I tamed a new one. Though I haven't gotten to naming him yet. Oh, okay, this works. You're kind of big, so I just had to walk you off this cliff to get you onto the platform. Yeah, okay, now everyone's on it and ready. Oh my god, this looks ridiculous. Wait, where are you going, Thomas? Uh, okay, guys, I don't think Thomas can uh, come with us. Maybe he was a little too big. But that's alright, we still got a decent amount with us. Alright, with everyone on here, we should be able to go now. I was a bit worried that they wouldn't follow on to the platform, but they did. Most of them. Now let the journey begin. Oh, I have to travel almost the entire map. Settle in, boys. This is going to take a while. Oh, this is going to take ages. Is that another humongous? Ooh. Maybe we can get our boy a pretty girlfriend sometime. Oh, my. Did you seriously just fall off? Okay, let's just get you back on top. No. <sighs> on the road again. Can't wait to be back on the road again. Okay, finally, we're at the beach. Oh, but now you're probably wondering, how can I get this large bus dinosaur over to that island? Well, here's the solution. You're a goddamn genius! I know, I know, I'm too smart. Okay, now this is the interesting thing. Wait, what am I climbing on? We got some dinosaurs on a platform, on a dinosaur, on a raft, on the ocean. That's quite the situation we got here. I'm planning that we go to that island over there, cause it was one of the biggest islands on the map. And it looked quite interesting on some of the screenshots I've seen. It looks kind of big, maybe it's a suitable place to build a solid base. Let's go to the island. Why can't he board the raft? Okay, try number two. To the island. Are you kidding me? This is not how I expected it to go. Oh my god. Floating poop. All right, we'll have to improvise. I do have my bird with me so we can make use of him. The question is if my bird can carry any of my other dinosaurs with it to the island. Or you know what? Let's just take the raft over with just my James LeBron. Because if I'm not incorrect, 
there should be a cave on the island. And my James LeBron is pretty famous for having completed caves before. And also, I don't really know if you need to complete the caves in any specific order. I'm just doing them like willy-nilly. I don't really know which order I'm supposed to do them in. But is there a specific order you should do them in? Because I imagine some caves are harder than the others. Yeah, that island looks actually really big. Okay, I don't really know where I should park this thing. Oh, hey, that's one of those purple things. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have officially arrived at our first deserted island. I hope there will be treasures. No, this isn't Sea of Thieves, goddammit. But some kind of reward would be cool. Oh yeah, and on my way here, I walked past a swamp and managed to come across these. A rare flower. I have no idea what it is and even what it does, but it's just a cool thing I found. What? Okay, I can eat it. I don't know why you would eat a flower, but all right. Okay, but why am I glowing though? Yeah, okay, I don't even know what that does. I mean, it says you become angry when you eat it. But I don't really feel angry though. Wait, does my own dinosaur become angry when I eat this? Oh, shit! Okay, no, it's the opposite. Wild dinos get angry if you eat it. Really lucky you're not that strong. Okay, then I know I shouldn't really eat those. But that's a good way to lure dinosaurs to you. Uh, okay, another question is why is there so many pigeons on this island? Pigeon number one, pigeon number two, pigeon number three, pigeon number four, pigeon number five, pigeon number six, pigeon number... Oh, that's a T-Rex. Oh yeah, this is a pretty good view. This island does not look pleasant. Oh shit, that's raptors. Now, what am I scared for? Come here. I'm so so much stronger than you guys. Okay, but I haven't seen any cave entrance yet. Please don't tell me I've been goofed. Oh shit, I haven't battled one of you yet. Are you strong? Okay, now nah, we got this. Okay, no, we maybe we don't got this. Oh my god, finally. Oh, why am I still taking damage? Okay, that, that I'm almost half health. Okay, I've been searching for a while now, and I haven't been able to find the cave entrance. Uh, guys, I'm in a bit of a pickle here. Oh, shit, that's a T-Rex. Yeah, okay, here we go. There is an entrance. I was beginning to lose hope, and also my life. Now, if this is like previous caves, this should be a piece of cake. Only if there isn't just a huge amount of stuff. Then they might be able to overwhelm me. Are you expecting me to dive headfirst into that deep pitch black water? Oh, okay, let's... Let's do this. Oh, that wasn't that far actually. Oh, hello. I'm joking. No, no. Whoa, that's deep. Nah, there's too much stuff, dude. All right, let's go. If I was afraid before, I'm terrified now. Uh, you're probably wondering how I ended up here. A loot crate? Wait, what is this? Ascendant fur gauntlets. Is that good? Oh my god, finally. Yeah, I'm very hurt. We have now conquered the artifact of the devourer and it is now ours. Now let's get the hell out of this cave. Now this is like a heist mission. We just got to get off this island as quickly as possible. Mission completed. We have now collected the artifact of the devourer, which if I'm not incorrect, I think is the last piece we need to fight the boss. Oh, there's glowfishes in this game. I wonder if you can tame one of those. Uh, where's my dinos? There they are. I've never been so delighted to see y'all. Let's head home. Many of you guys have told me about a specific dinosaur that roams the sky. A Tapajora. It looks pretty cool and all, but I'm gonna attempt to tame something bigger. I don't want a dinosaur with just more seats. I want a bigger one. And the flying bird called Quetzal is huge. I got to actually learn in school that the Quetzal is actually the biggest predator that has ever roamed the sky. Which makes me want to tame it even more. But you're probably wondering, if it is in the sky, how in all of God's name can someone like me get up there and tame it? Well, instead of bringing the instrument to him, I'm gonna bring him to the instrument. 
And by instrument, I mean this walking fortress. I call it Bird Catcher Model 3. Yeah, it looks cool, I gotta agree. Remember those flowers I found whilst going to the island? Well, this may sound stupid and this may not even work, but I'm gonna try to implement those into my plan. But I gotta go get some more, cause I don't know what happened to those I had before. But in the meantime, you should subscribe on this app, whilst I think about how to implement this into my clever trap. I do got bars though. Okay, I will use my new Tyranodon, which I've named Lightning McKing, cause he's fast. Next step is to find one of these, which is not going to be hard, cause I previously saw one close by, and was the reason I wanted to tame one. And if you watched this far, you're probably liking what you're seeing. So to express that, hit the like button, and maybe leave a comment like, what a genius little man. And also, don't forget to sneak by our Discord server. Nice, there it is. Now we have to just lure him to the trap. Alright, so when I consume this flower, he will get mad and start to chase me. That's when I have the opportunity to trap him with my guy down over there. What's up, baby? Well, we gotta be quick about this. Otherwise, it could go horribly wrong, as I don't really know how strong this bird really is. But alright, let's consume- OH SHIT! WRONG BUTTON! That was a mistake. I forgot the button E wasn't for inventory. It was to jump off. Alright, now we will not press E, and instead, now we will lure him. Yeah, what? Why isn't he mad? I thought the flowers would make them angry. Um, well, this is awkward. Come on, just come here. Paka, paka. That's my luring sound. Out of pocket for that shit. Okay, I don't really know what to do. Or I do have grappling hooks. Hmm, yeah, that may work. Okay, this is my reorganized plan. I will jump off my bird. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hear me out. And then grapple onto my bird. Ooh, this is uh, scary. And then look at this. I can command my bird by whistling at it. But now since he's fleeing, I have a chance to knock him out. Because this bird isn't that fast. So he doesn't really have a chance to catch up. Try it, try it, try it, try it. Oh try my it. god, future self just cut this out. No, I don't think I will. Damn, we're going on a freaking road trip. But please don't fly into those big trees. We all would know what would happen if we went there. Oh, damn, sorry, Pidgey. I didn't mean to shoot you in the ass. All right, just go down. I don't expect you to take too long, so please go to sleep. Oh my god, it went down! Oh no, please don't tell me they take fall damage. No! Why are you eating on him? God damn, he's bleeding a lot. Alright, at least he gave us some meat to feed you. Oh damn, you're already halfway. This isn't going to take long at all. Alright, we got a Quetzal. Wait, you can follow me into the air, right? Yeah, of course you can. Oh my god, you're beautiful. Why is my small guy having a fight with the big guy? Like, dude, pick a fight with your own size. Wait, can't this guy land? Oh, so why is it looking so weird? Alright, anyways, we have to craft a saddle for you. And I have the perfect name for you. Welcome to the squad, Biggest Bird. Because he's literally the biggest bird. I'm the biggest bird. One thing that could have been cool is a bigger saddle, because this one's pretty tiny. But except of the saddle, I can now roam the sky without limits. We are now the king of the skies. Holy shit, dude, this guy's big. Before, I thought he was going to be kinda big, but this. But this is like the size of a fucking mammoth. But now, it's time for the big test. This island has been like a home to me, but I think we are up for the task. Next up, we will attempt the hardest challenge yet. The grand battle to defeat the boss of the dinosaur game, Ark. For real this time. And we will not accept defeat, as our goal is to emerge victorious. And, as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye Oh hello everybody and welcome back to Ark Class of the Evolve. Or something like that. Currently, I'm in this cave about to grab one more of these, like, artifacts. 
Getting to this point was no big deal, but there was also a crap ton of lava. And I had a lot of fun slaying some spiders and larvas, if you may call them that. And it's about time we craft this thing called a fabricator. Y'all have been dying in the comment section about me not crafting one yet. Apparently, it is a machine that can craft a ton of new stuff. But I already got the smithy which can craft a ton of stuff. So how could it ever be better than the smithy? Oh... That's a lot. What is all of this stuff? You got a bunk bed, air conditioned units, and a shotgun? Is this survival game gonna turn into a freaking warfare game? Call of Duty Survival Evolved. That's a good one. Oh, but it's expensive. And I think I need to go a long way to get this thing called polymer. Oh, why the heck would I need a shotgun in the first place? Okay, so we're on our way to get materials for the shotgun. I came to the conclusion that it wouldn't hurt to have one. And what do I know? It may be as powerful as heck. Speaking of it, we're nearing the last stages of preparation for the boss battle. And I know that some dinosaurs can be ridden whilst having a weapon out. You see where I'm getting at? So imagine when we finally battle the boss and we're just riding on the back of our dinosaur. Let's say my beaver. And the big bad spider is confused like, uh, what the heck is this supposed to be? And then I just whip off this badass shotgun on him. Yo, sorry my dude, I didn't know. And then I hit him with the... So yeah, these penguins are cute and all, but who knew they walk around with the materials for a shotgun? Is that a shiny? Oh no, there's baby ones. I know what I have to do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. I'm so sorry, little one. Oh no. But it has to be done. You can't tame these, can you? I kind of figured, but it's still kind of disappointing. Oh look, a mammoth. Wow. Now let's craft this son of a beast. I said beast. Beast. B-E-A-S-T. Not the other B word. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if I said B polymer? Hmm. Get out of here. We're trying to build something to make you go extinct. Oh, okay. I was worried for a second there. Because I thought you had to combine the organic polymer with obsidian to make actual polymer. I mean, that would make the most sense. But it seems the organic polymer works fine. But why won't it let me craft it? Seriously? Work, you stupid machine. It needs gas? Oh, I don't have that. Oh, wait, I do. Okay, so I just put it in and... Whoa, that sounds cool. But that's definitely going to become annoying very soon. Oh, shit. Look at this beast. I said beast. Mr. B now, what can I do with a weapon such as this? Shabuski. What the fuck? Here's cuz. Man, I'm dead. Dude, this thing rocks. Nice. Leather. I mean, the amount of things I can use this for is unfathomable. I've made a horrible miscalculation, though I will need to craft a bunch more of these bullets before using it again. Alright, question of the week. I want to know you guys and girls' favorite drink. Whether it will be Pepsi, Sprite, or any other. It could also just be water. Water's good. I personally like me some good old milk. Don't you dare. Look at this. Now we have a platform cell in the sky and on the ground. You do know what that means, right? We're gonna make a fighter jet plane. And this one is not going to be as disappointing as the other one. Sorry, Ninja. Because I will be very thorough about the functions of this one. After a while of searching around, and after a while of farming, it was done. And I couldn't tell you how much I like this thing. But anyways, let's test this bad boy out on some things. The only flaw with this one is that it's kind of hard to get on. Okay, take some bolts. I had a lot left over from when we first used a ballista thingy. Okay, how much damage? 900? We might be able to kill this guy. Oh my god! We did that. I honestly never thought we could kill one of those guys, but we did. Within like 10 seconds! Oh, hey, that's one of your brothers. One very cool thing about this platform is that I can walk around and do pretty much whatever I want whilst just being airborne. That makes stuff interesting. Very interesting. 
Oh, hey! He now has a stick coming out of his bum. This is also the 10th episode of the series, and we've come a long way, I'd say. Many dinosaurs, many caves, many adventures. We've also explored the majority of the island. Oh, and I also borrowed this with us. Hey you, Allosaurus! Feel the wrath of our upgraded aircraft. The Dino Annihilator, version 1.5. Allosaurus had never seen such bullshit before. I can't forgive you for what you did to Big Bird. Big Bird, do something! Big Bird? Barbecue bacon burger. No! Take a grenade, would ya? Oh, oh no. I'm alive! Haha! <laughs> well, I... Okay, that one's on me. This happens way too often. No more fooling around. In fact, I'm gonna do something I wanted to do for a while now. And sadly, I have to change my biggest bird's platform. But first, let me just go get him. I'm gonna get us a girlfriend to our Tyrone Rexes. You know, so they can do the same. I mean, worst comes to best, we realistically only lose our entire aircraft. Okay, please don't let this go horribly wrong. Of course, in this game, with every idea comes grinding. A lot of grinding. But you know, it gets repetitive, so here's an important thing I learned. What? You can gather wood? Nice! Hey you, stop harassing that parasaur! Oh! Some of you were lying about this thing being useful. Oh, it's such a pain to go get metal, so... Okay, if I don't have any metal, I'm ending the video. Huh? What does this look like? To me? Well, kinda like a prison. But no, it is a trap. A portable trap. One where you can fly in the air with. So, okay, it kinda works like this. Take note now, Ark Veterans. When you face away from something you wanna tame, let it run towards you. And the next thing you know, you have yourself a trapped dinosaur. Uh, never mind. <laughs> Maybe it's just the raptor. He may have had like a weird hitbox or something. Now I just need to try to do that with something 10 times bigger. Why do I choose to do these kinds of stuff? Right over there, we have our prey. A female Rex. The biggest predator has now become our prey. Okay, so something happened. We're up here now and please get trapped. I see, you've chosen the Airline Express. Just enjoy yourself and expect some turbulence. Out your left window, you will see many of the exotic trees this island has. Okay, you don't seem to enjoy your visit, but there's no refund. Okay guys, this method does seem to have some problems. So I'll just lure this guy down here in this big crater. Oh, that seems to work. You just stay stuck there. Oh no, what are you doing biggest bird? Oh, okay, I'm out of here. What I was meaning, I'm going to be up here whilst you are down there. I know this is a change of plans for you, but would you mind taking a nap? Good. You've arrived at your location. Thanks for flying Airline Express. What? You aren't supposed to be able to climb mountains? Maybe I got the wrong dinosaur. Help me! Help me! Oh, won't you go to sleep already? Oh, I just remembered that your boyfriend at home is very similar color to you. Oh, finally. That's a great place to knock you out. Let me go get some meat. Okay, you're quite in a difficult place to get to. Oh, why must you go to sleep just there? Haha, <laughs> I'm just way smarter than you tricks. Welcome, you big hunky girl. What did he say? Oh, uh, never mind. You're not that hunky. You're pretty good at climbing mountains, so... Welcome, the goat. Is it possible for you to get on here? Well, okay, no. There you go. The problem was just that there was too many walls. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Now, you need a saddle. An expensive one. And on you go. Look at you. Aren't you pretty? Oh, wait. I know a way to make you even prettier. A little bit of green, some pink, and maybe some red. That's what I'm talking about. Dinosaur fashion. Now, let's kill some some things. Better yet, make them go extinct. Yeah, this is the missing thing I've been longing for in this game. Rampage. I don't know if it differs between different T-Rexes, but I feel like this one's a beast at killing stuff. Hey, what are you doing over there? Smells good? Yeah, that spider. You see what I can do? 
I'm coming for you next. Oh, it's one of you! An epic reunion battle from the very first episode. Did you just seriously take a dump in the middle of an epic battle? Holy, the levels on this thing! And secondly, look at all this meat! Oh, pause. Uh, I don't even know what to upgrade on this girl. She already has like a million health. Or 6,000, but you get the point. Maybe some oxygen and oh, a little on food because you don't want to be hungry. And you must have a lot of weight for the amount of food you're gonna eat. Like, god damn. Maybe some melee damage and ooh, speed. Now, I think you're ready to take on a particularly big spider. Oh, wait, there's one more thing. Ooh, it's time for the dinosaurs to play. Hehe, hehe. What were you just watching? Is that an egg I'm seeing? Holy cow, it's big. It's the size of a freaking Peel P50 car. I think you need a little more time for yourselves. Or possibly a lot of time. But that also means that I will need time. Time to prepare for a massive fight soon to occur. And, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Two hours later. Uh, do you think I overdid it a little bit? <laughs>